Hi and welcome in this third video of a series of tutorials. In this tutorial I will talk about automatic calibration in Video Stitch Studio. So calibration basically means that you will create a stitching template for your video. It's a very important step in the process for a successful 360 video. Before you go to calibration you have to make sure that synchronization has been done. It's very important to have a precise accurate synchronization. So if you did it, you can want to make sure you close the widget like this and then you can go to the window menu and go to calibration. So here this is the new look for calibration in Video Stitch Studio 2 in the latest version. So here you can see automatic calibration and calibration from a file. I will go deeper in calibration from a file manually it means that you will manually create a calibration with PTGUI or Hagen. I will go deeper on that in a different tutorial. So when I go to automatic calibration, here you see all the options. So then type is the first option. You can see rectilinear, fill from fisheye and circular fisheye. So if you don't know what this means, I will show you now. These settings are um, default to the settings of your camera already so you don't want to change that really. Full frame fisheye is the default setting for GoPro. We used here GoPro 3. So the other lens types here is circular fisheye. So as you can see it is a circle. That's why also the name circular fisheye. And uh, fisheye lens type you can recognize it when you look at buildings and you see that the lines are not completely straight. So it has more of a circular effect. So this is the full frame fisheye. You can see also here that the lines are curved, but it's not circular, the ratio. Then rectilinear, it looks like this. This is the normal 16 to 9 ratio. And this is basically for every normal camera, camera will shoot rectilinear. So now we go to the other options. Input HVOV is, uh, means horizontal field of view and will tell you how many degrees your lens is capable to shoot. The default setting here for full frame fisheye for GoPros is 120 degrees. So with the overlapping images, Video Stitch will create a stitching template. Calibrating in Video Stitch works in three options. You can calibrate on frame list, calibrate on sequence, and calibrate here. First go to calibrate on frame list, where you will select some frames of your video, like this, with a plus. You can also delete them by selecting them and then clicking on the minus. So you want to select four frames. You want to also make sure that it's four different frames. You can always click on them again to make sure that you don't have double. So now that you have selected some frames, you can calibrate on frame lists. And Video Stitch will calculate control points between the overlapping images and create the best possible stitching template for your video. This process is completely automatic. The other options, calibrate on sequence, is where you will select a sequence in your video and then you can just calibrate on sequence and it will calibrate. Calibrate here will calibrate on the current frame where your browser is on. So now you can see the result directly in the output video. I'll just do some orientation so you can really see how it looks like. So you can see it live how it looks like. As you can see it's perfectly calibrated. After you can move on to exposure compensation, stabilization and orientation and export your video. So this was the quick spin on automatic calibration. If you want to do some more or advanced stitching yourself, you can do it using Pitigui or Hagen. I will go deeper on that on a different tutorial, so I hope this was useful for you. 
and keep your eye on our YouTube channel for more tutorials.